youtubers a pleasant good afternoon to you welcome to my channel here I'm planning to do some planting today I'm getting some help from my girlfriend she's cleaning up I hope you do enjoy the video it's been a year since I haven't planted anything so I have a lot of cleaning to do here is a grape tree I've had for over a year now and it's been bearing quite a lot recently I know in Guyana people think that it's actually a foreign crop and it cannot be grown in Guyana but here is proof that we can get grapes in Guyana and of different varieties but I have this is green to red variety I'm having here it is a bit sour when it's green but a bit sweet when it's ripe Let me guide you through the video and hope you do enjoy what I have to offer you today. This is my second video I'm trying to upload. The first was a fishing video I did. You can check that out. This here is the pipes. I did NFT system before. I really need to get back into farming. Due to the COVID, I was I stopped. Uh, there is my puppy. Call her Pearl. Yeah, so here you can see what's going on. The grape tree. This is her, actually her, her puppy. Pearl's pup. This one is called Blacks. I call, I call him Blackie. He loves to play. Very fluffy dog. Playful dog. There he goes. Here I'm setting some seeds. Um, I have some tomatoes. This particular variety here. I'm having beef steak. Actually, beef maestro. Those are very big tomatoes. Here I have red bell peppers. And over here I'm having yellow bell peppers. I like to do a lot of varieties. I don't like to stick with one thing. I pruned these a few days ago this is what we call in Guyana local sweet peppers they move from green to red they have a little uh, uh, sweet taste there. people prefer this one instead of bell I don't know why this is the next side of the grape tree as we go along those yellow papers on the post was what I used stickers for white flies in the previous days. I mean, I should say previous years because quite a while back I've done this. The NFT, there are four inch pipe and two inch pipes. I've grown kale inside, celery, uh, pak choy, tomatoes, sweet peppers. Here is a bunch of grapes. As you can see, this tree really is loaded this time. That's the root system. It's very small, but the root spread below. Here is a bunch of grapes. There is a whole lot more above me. Let me just show you here. I don't think you can see the one up there. It's too dark with the light. Let me get closer. Here is a bunch. There is a bunch. There's a whole lot on this one vine. So lovely, so tasty. You have to pick these soon. There's another one. And now preparation for the bed. I'm doing strictly hydroponic farming. As the name, the title suggests, that is. I'm using, the substrate I'm using is uh, white sand with um, paddy husk or paddy shell. Rice shell. If you want to say that thing, again, we call it paddy, paddy shell. Uh, it's easily accessible, that's why I choose to use this to do hydroponics. And if you follow farming, hydroponic is actually soilless cultivation, so there is no soil. You may see the bed is a bit dark, is that's because I've used the bed many times before, so now I'm add actually adding fresh shell to the bed. I'm soaking the shell first, then I'm going to mix it up. 
because I don't want because of it's dry I don't want the breeze to blow it while I mix I didn't have uh, much transportation to bring a lot down from I had to go up more into the country to get now I'm mixing it up as you could see well the sand like I'm saying would not look white now because it's been used before so it's uh, broken down shells and sand so I'm mixing up some fresh shells as you can see this thing is very dry it's been a while since I've used this bed at the bottom I use construction plastic of course I um, bore it so that it could drain out the water could drain out it's a bit of an exercise here back breaking but I'm trying I have to do it so when you're home now because of COVID you have to do something and again here due to the, the rain the rainy season the heavy rains farmers are suffering from floods and their crops are being destroyed by the acres so greens at the market is very expensive I can remember going to the market last week and a lady told me $500 for a squash and I just pick up and run when squash meet that price you know things bad now leveling of the bed after I've mixed it I'm using a, a simple rake an iron rake and I'm leveling I'm using both sides of the rake actually depends on the job that I have to do the back of the rake is for leveling and the front is actually to pull the stuff together it's a very nice job I love what, what I'm doing I love planting I have a passion for hydroponic farming I've been doing this for about four about five years now and I really do love it and I'm self-taught I look a lot of videos on YouTube I taught myself all about it it's not that difficult but it's a bit tricky in, uh, especially when doing NFT systems you can't if you make any mistake with the mixture everything dies setting up irrigation as you see just now before the, the clip changed I had the pipes and brace up on the side was all as an old setup so I had to touch it on back and now because of the oil residue and algae inside the pipe I have to send some pressure water through it to make sure all, all the holes are clear enough so the water can come through the irrigation so I have to move from back to front here to open the ends make sure the water comes out make sure everything comes out clean it well so that all the holes is clear and the water comes out to feed the plants it takes a lot of patience to do this but like I said I love to do it the other bed on the right hand side there had plants also I know it's full of grass because it's not being used soon I have to get some more seedlings after those trays I showed you previously with peppers and stuff when that's ready I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna put upload the next video to, to show you that each one of these length of pipes I have to go turn on the water and then check it to make sure everyone is flowing pretty good I don't want any plant to die of hunger or thirst I should say <laughs> so planting the favorite part planting of tomatoes I have two sets of plants I'm gonna to plant today tomatoes and sweet peppers I'm doing the California wonder variety sweet pepper this here this variety of tomato is what we call the local variety it's called mongol as you can see I'm picking off the leaf from the bottom and I'm trying to plant it as deep as possible I've did a lot of research on tomatoes the more deep you plant them the more root system they'll have and the more they will bear and I've tried it before it worked so this isn't the first time I'm doing this I know what I'm saying it's from experience 
So I bought these seedlings, I didn't set these because it would take a lot of time for my seedlings to get prepared. So I had to go to the plant shop and get some seedlings. It's pretty cheap. So I don't mind. I'm just hoping that they grow pretty good. I mean the bed wasn't being used for quite a while. So I'm hoping I get good good produce in about two to three months time. Here I'm finished with the two rows of tomatoes. They look pretty okay. If you guys have any more ideas you can leave it leave some comments, let me hear what I can do better. Every day is a learning day, right? Here are the bell peppers. These are actually red. And they are um, California Wonder, like I mentioned before. And sweet peppers, of course. Bell peppers, sweet peppers. This is one here. I'm going to show you how we plant it. Very simple. Remember is, is salmon and paddy husk, you just move it aside and just stick it right there and that's it. Cover it up, make sure the roots are covered properly. You see the tape, the, tape, the scotch tape on the pipe is because I had numerous holes on the pipe for plants that I planted before. So you may see some tape on the, on the pipes and they are actually covering holes that I had before there. There you go. The place got dark, so this is a video I've made in the morning to show you the complete transplant that I did. They're looking pretty okay. I'm hoping that this gives me some profits because right now greens is at a high scale with price. Greens are very pricey right now, so. If my garden push a good bearing, I'll be happy. I used to, I started out this as a hobby, but I end up investing a lot, so I had to make back some profit from it. So I'm hoping to make that profit again. Here is the setup. It's from the tank. I'm using gravity flow system. High the barrel. Let's look in the barrel. This is my solution. My hydroponic solution is in there. On the next video, I'll make a next video to show you how I mix the solution. It's a three-part solution. This setup is outside. This was a shed before, but it broke down. So these are what we call board pepper in Guyana. Very tasty pepper. It, uh, people actually use this for when they have constipation and stuff like that in Guyana. It's a very tasty pepper. It's hot, of course, but it's nice. So this, I'm, I'm trying out an uh, open environment system here. Here I have, I have some board pepper, I have some um, what we call weary pepper in Guyana, but it's actually cherry. I think it's around the world we call it cherry, those wrong red and yellow peppers, cherry peppers. I have a few of that here. And then I have, well Guyanese call this bygone, balanje. But I know around the world, it's commonly known as eggplant. So I'm trying this out here also. What's below that grass is actually sun and paddy shell. All, all paddy shell, all this, was, all this was substrate that I had from previous growing days. But it's worn out now because I haven't planted anything in over a year. So it's pretty messed up right now. Uh, I'm trying to get back myself into this farming thing once more. I'm very sorry that I didn't plant a very long time ago. I miss planting. <laughs> I have some. I have. I've have some remaining t uh, peppers, bell peppers, so I plant them outside also. I want to see how they will react to the weather. Here, I don't know what this is known ar uh, around the world, but we call it five finger. 
in Guyana. This is at my backyard. It's very sweet. Very, very sweet. This thing is very juicy and very sweet, trust me. Tasty. Okay. After two days, I'm, send, uh, I'm making the next clip here of the bed. I've added some more tape because between each plant there was a hole, so I had to tape it up. And these on the outside also. They're coming up pretty okay, no dead plant. Thank God for that. I hope none of them dead. Anytime soon, we're having some rain coming also so i hope the rain do not damage them and here that's what i'm feeding these fishes i have some fish in my fish tank here these are actually grown some are grown to eat some most are grown for bait to catch fish with so i have tilapias i have silver baits i have hassa sunfish a couple of shrimp inside here yeah, is a mixture of everything here I have some broadleaf thyme I don't know what to call it around the world what to call it thyme broadleaf thyme this is a neck shade house that I'm having here this is my dark pen I have two pups in here from the same white dog she got two puppies this is the black fluffy one and that's my favorite Zach the nice playful guy so I'm doing kale on this bed a few died already I don't know what's wrong with this bed I need to mix in some new potty shell here also the kale these are looking pretty nice I love this kale this is dwarf coral very nice kale I love this I have a big market for this but they are very tricky to grow I've tried okay the backyard look pretty nice with these banana plants these big sucker plants I have couple well bunches of banana to harvest maybe in a month's time who want canard from now <laughs> I have a whole lot there's a huge one right here almost in my neighbor's yard i better get it before they do so thank you for look watching